to be my own stability. So really, um, I'm not going to say I didn't need him because he was a huge help. He helped me with the children, um, but I just had to come to grips with he didn't want to grow spiritually. And right. so when you get into a, a marriage, a divine union, it's supposed to be spiritual. It's supposed to be for a spiritual purpose. So I knew that I had a call in my life. And he just really honestly, because he was dealing with certain uh, spiritual forces, you know, in, in his own life, um, I had to separate, you know. And so in the process of me separating, I, I lost the business when I found out that he was a swinger after I had moved my family of five way to Mexico. And so uh, I put everything in his name. And I wasn't really, I'm not upset. I forgive him and everything. Um, he took what he took. I took what I took. And we just, yes. you know, it just is what it is. And I had to ask God to um, help me, you know, to, to go through that. But what put the icing on the cake for me was when I found out that he did it to another woman in Charlotte, North Carolina, and she had six kids. So she built him a business. So, you know, I, I was thinking that, oh, when I met him, he has this business and I thought it was his. So he had stability. And kind of now it was this other woman he did the same thing to. And then uh, even now in, in Mexico, like a week or two ago, I, I met a woman here, Jeff stranger and I'm telling her this story about how you know I lost my business in the process and uh, you know all of these things and she says well I know your ex-husband I met him on, on a date website and I said wow you know what a small world but I think what helped me lead um, to the to the, the dark road that led to the lot for me this last year, me losing the marriage, my business, and then my grandmother, you know, um, that really was just like, it was a wake up call for me. And my grandmother, she actually, uh, you know, raised me. And so she was like my mother. Uh, I was closer to her than my own mom. And so she was 93. And, um, you know, all I could remember my grandmother saying is, you know, make sure you live a holy life before God, take care of your children, and, and things like that. So that is really what, um, you know, helped me, you know, to stay encouraged during this time, because it was really challenging um, yes. as well. You know, Charmaine, uh, one out of six um, women, you know, they're abused every day, you know, yes. and uh, the, the, the statistics goes on and on and on. And if someone is out there 